Baoding in northeast China is a grim place in winter. More so now because the air quality in this industrial city has just been ranked the worst in China, which makes it among the worst in the world. In the first five months of this year, it had just 16 days when the air quality was considered good by the country's environmental watchdog. The air in Baoding was very good before. When I was a kid, the sky was very blue. But now the smog is very serious. In the old days, the winter was very cold, but you could still see the sun. But now you can barely see it. And the sun was struggling to shine on the day we visited. Government leaders have this year declared a war on pollution and have already made some painful decisions here. The central government shut this factory to curb pollution because we produced a lot of wastewater and emissions. Now we have to find a new location for the factory. More than 3,000 men and women lost their jobs when the government ordered this plant to close back in May. It had been one of the region's biggest producers of polyester, but it was, say the authorities, also one of the biggest polluters. Pollution in this city is a sensitive issue. But there are signs that Baoding is trying to clean up its act and reinvent itself. It's been designated a low-carbon city, a hub for green technology, home to the world's largest maker of solar panels. They're now a feature of Baoding streets. We have made a great contribution to the local economy. We have more than 20,000 employees and have created many working opportunities for local people. The technology's not totally clean, though, because solar manufacturing still needs large amounts of coal-fired power from the grid to run these machines. We still need electricity to make our products. The electricity is still generated from a traditional energy like coal. But we are a responsible enterprise. We properly handle the wastewater and emissions. A start has been made here, but China's transition to a green economy is likely to be a long one.